Hey everyone, it's your girl Shauna J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So appreciate you guys stopping by. I have some energy, so I'm like, you know what? Let me stand up and do this video. The other day, I did put up a poll here on YouTube in the community section, and a lot of you guys voted and said that you wanted to see this video. Some of you guys were happy, some of you guys were confused because some of you guys can't wrap your brain around the fact that there are some clean fragrances that are perfect for this time of year now leave it up to the queen of clean to show y'all what i mean that rhymes Ooh. but anyway guys i'm gonna show you guys some fragrances that are rather clean but they do have some depth to them got it okay all right guys so i'm gonna start out with the very first fragrance which is from the house of Izumiyaki. And this one is called Lori Yisi Absolute. Now, I am super happy to have this one in my collection because I'm going to be honest, I've been eyeing it. Now, I did pick up a sample before purchasing the bottle. And let me tell you, I completely... I completely went through the sample. It's done. Empty. Now, if you follow my channel, you already know that I am obsessed with the original Lore You See Eau de Toilette version. For those of you guys who are not familiar with the scent, this is basically a fresh scent. This is fresh, it's clean, it's a white floral scent, it's very aquatic, and I completely, completely love this scent. But I think if you're looking for something that smells like this, but is a little bit more warm, then you may want to look into the absolute version. But let me tell you a couple of things about this fragrance before you make a decision uh, first of all it does smell like the original so it does have that DNA but I must say that the original is a bit more fresh it's a way more aquatic now the dominant notes that I get from this one are actually freesia and honey now for those of you guys who don't know freesia tends to give off a more clean powdery floral type scent and that's basically what I'm getting here but under that clean soapy powdery freesia note I am getting the honey which is giving this fragrance a bit of sweetness and a warmth just a bit more in depth which I absolutely love because that's what I was looking for now the bad news about this fragrance are you ready believe it or not this fragrance does not perform well at all like in my opinion now i'm a light sprayer and let me tell you right now four sprays is not enough like you're gonna have to really go in in order to get this one to really last and in order to get this one to project the crazy thing is when i did purchase a sample i did have that issue but stupid stupid me thought for whatever reason, if I bought a full bottle, it would make a difference. It didn't, all right? The only difference is that it's a bigger bottle and I'm gonna have more room to spray a lot, so I may get it to last a little bit longer. But yes, it doesn't have the best longevity and it definitely does not have the best sillage, but does it smell incredible? Yes, ma'am, it smells so good. I think I paid like 50 something dollar for this 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, I'm not sure. All these fragrances will be linked in the description box below in case you want to take a deeper look at it. Another fragrance that I have here that I think is clean and fresh, but I think is actually perfect for this time of year is from the house of Chloe or Chloe. And this one is called Nomad. Now, this one has been around for quite some time. And as usual, I am late to the party with this one. I actually like to wait a little bit to buy my fragrances because, you know, to save my coins. Now, what I love about this fragrance is the fact that it has a two different sides. So on one side, you get the freesia, the mirabelle, and the peach. And that combination is just so pretty. The freesia gives off this clean, soapy vibe. And it's mixed in with the peach and the mirabelle, which gives it this fruity, citrusy touch. Over here, things get a little bit more interesting because over here, we have the earthy tones. We have oak moss, patchouli, and musk. And let me tell you, the combination of those notes are just incredible i think it smells amazing it does have a grown-up vibe to it without being too mature or anything like that it does smell like a woman that has her whole life together you know what i'm saying that's kind of like the vibe that i get from this fragrance it does have moderate to long-lasting staying power 
four sprays or five sprays usually give me at least eight hours so anything more than that could definitely give you around 10 or more so it is a decent performer even though this is on the cleaner side i think it does have enough earthy tones and depth to take you throughout the cooler months all right this is from the house of chloe and it's called nomad next is actually a celebrity scent this one is by jessica simpson and it's called fancy forever now i did purchase this one but it was a little bit warmer and i did wear it a couple of times but then i was like you know what shauna Maybe you should put this one away and pull for it when it gets a little bit cooler outside. Now, this is my scent of the day. I did wear this one to bed last night, got up this morning, took a shower, and reapplied this one because I just, I'm enjoying the scent. Now, as it's coming off my skin, I'm getting this clean, musky, powdery type scent, but under that, I'm getting some vanillic fruity nuances the vanilla and the fruity notes are quite muted but i'm definitely picking them up it's a very delicate scent very demure but don't get it twisted when you're wearing this one you're definitely gonna smell it now if i could compare this one to any of the other fancies i would actually compare this one to fancy girl which i'm not really a fan of but i think fancy forever is the more elevated form the big girl she's a bit more sophisticated now she's all grown up that's kind of like the vibe that i get from this one we do have tonka bean in this fragrance and it's given this composition a bit of a unique vibe there's something a bit bitter here and i know that sounds bad but i think without that bitterness i think without the tonka bean it would just be boring it would probably be what fancy girl is which is why i like fancy forever i think i think it's a good scent and it's very inexpensive i believe this is the 3.4 throat ounce bottle and i paid around 20 bucks for it now this fragrance is not loud it's not boisterous it's not that kind of scent but when you're wearing it you're gonna smell it it does have presence to it so it kind of creates a bubble around the wearer which i enjoy i think it is a nice scent i don't want to hype it up too much all right but I think it's much better than I thought it would be and I think it's perfect for this time of year. If you like musk, if you like a little bit of powder, if you like a little bit of fruitiness, a little bit of vanilla, that's basically what this fragrance is giving. So you may like this one, all right? This is Fancy Forever by Jessica Simpson. Next is Ellie Tahari's fragrance. I did find this one in Burnington, but you could definitely find this one online. You could find it for around 25 bucks, which is absolutely a steal in my opinion. Now, I typically would not recommend a fragrance like this one for the cooler months because this is a clean aromatic type scent. It's dominated by bergamot and tea. So this is a tea fragrance. So if you like tea fragrances, definitely check this one out. I did purchase this one around June or July of this year, and I did wear it around that time of year. But every time I used to put this one on, I used to think, man, this one would smell like bomb when it gets a little bit cooler outside. And that's because even though it's a very clean, tea-like, aromatic scent, there's a warmth to it i don't know what's causing that we do have woodsy notes we do have musk and we have amber in the base but i'm still not able to detect what that warmth is i did see someone mention that there seems to be a piney note like some sort of pine needle note in here and i'm definitely picking that up which is adding to that aromatic factor if you like aromatic fragrances a tea like fragrances but you're looking for something with a bit of warmth there definitely look into this scent it does have moderate to long lasting um staying power so it does last a longer than i thought it would for a cheapy fragrance that's crazy to me but yeah that's all i have for this fragrance definitely worth trying out if you see this one in burlington or tj maxx definitely snatch it up if you're into tea fragrances all right this is elita harvey's fragrance
Another little cheapie that I have here is from Perry Ellis. This one is called Perry Ellis Love. Now, if you follow my channel, you already know that I love Perry Ellis. I've never ever tried a Perry Ellis fragrance that I didn't like. I wasn't really sure or convinced that I was gonna like this fragrance because it's often compared to Chanel Chance, which I don't like. For those of you guys who don't know, Chanel Chance uh, fragrance is very citrusy and it has like a very bold powerful patchouli note here in new york the ladies go crazy for that scent like there's a lot of women here in the city that loves that fragrance especially when it gets cold new york basically smells like chanel chance like the ladies here especially those chic stylish women yeah they pretty much live in chanel chance when it gets a little bit cooler outside this fragrance pretty much is like the more likable version, the more wearable version, the more approachable version. This is yet another fragrance that I would not typically recommend for this time of year because of how citric it is. It's very fresh. It's clean. It does have a soapy feel to it. That's how clean this one is. But it does have patchouli in the base. And that patchouli just gives this perfume strength. It gives it some depth. It gives it that earthiness. Just enough earthiness to tone the citric notes down. Whenever I wear this one and I catch whiffs of it, I'm like, girl, like it smells really good. Now, I really haven't seen this one anymore in Burnton. It used to be on the shelves all the time. It is, in fact, a safe blind buy. If you like fragrances like Chanel, Chance, or the toilet all right this is perry ellis love another fragrance that i have here is from the house of oscar de la renta oh my god guys this one is so good i recently picked this one up at burlington yes your girl lives in burlington i don't care i love burlington all right this fragrance right here is a freaking incredible now if you're familiar with fragrances like burberry woman Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson, Taylor by Taylor Swift, then you pretty much know what this smells like, but not really, because I do feel as though this is more of an elevated version of those fragrances. Addictive. The dry down on this thing though, oh my God, it's woodsy, it's creamy, it's airy it's just freaking sexy if you are trying to seduce someone i guarantee this one is definitely gonna do it all right this is bella essence did i even say that this is a bella essence by oscar de la Renta. i apologize i did not say the name of this perfume in the beginning but yeah guys love this fragrance definitely check this one out so i'm definitely gonna keep the cheapies coming up next we have a fragrance from the house of Kevin klein and this one is called beauty now i do have a couple of uh flankers of this fragrance in my collection but i want to showcase the original beauty fragrance because i think if you're into clean soapy fragrances you're definitely gonna like this one we have notes of jasmine ambrette and cedarwood in this fragrance the jasmine here is is beautiful like she is bold and she's soapy and she's very elegant now even though it does have a more mature vibe it doesn't feel mature to the point where I don't think I could pull a fragrance like this off but that could be a personal thing because I tend to appreciate fragrances that smell mature even though I like younger fragrances I have no problem smelling like a grown woman at times you know what I'm saying and that's basically the vibe that I get from this one but to get back to the description of this scent um, like I was saying before it does have a very strong soapy jasmine scent under that clean soapy jasmine I'm getting a bit of a woodsy slightly spicy scent I think if you're looking for a clean soapy fragrance with a bit of depth to it this one is definitely the one to go with. It does give me office wear vibes. It is a long lasting scent. It's also a very strong scent, but you could definitely control the intensity of the fragrance. So you could go in with a lighter hand or a heavier hand if you want something a little bit more loud and powerful. 
for me two sprays behind my ears maybe the crooks of my elbow maybe one in the middle of my chest or something like that and i'm usually good to go um yeah this is a beautiful scent calvin klein really ever ever disappoints and right here he definitely did not disappoint this is beauty by calvin klein so another fragrance that i have here is from the house of givenchy this one is called l'entity or the toilette if you watch my channel you already know this one was gonna make the list okay because this is one of the soapiest fragrances that i have in my collection and when i say soapy i mean like laundry soap this gives clean laundry in my opinion now i have not been wearing this fragrance because it has been hot here in new york and i don't think this fragrance even though it's clean and soapy I don't think it's very fitting for the warmer months. It could be a little bit too much. I've worn this a couple of times and I felt like, girl, like I was like, it was gonna choke me out. I'm considering uh, putting this one like in a dabber because when I spray it out, it's, it's a little bit too much. I don't know if I'm sensitive, maybe I am, but this one is a little bit strong, all right? You were warned. So it's like clean laundry with a little bit of a sweet candied vibe. And for sure, I'm getting that earthiness, that veteran, that patchouli comes in and just deepens everything up. And I just think it's a beauty. This fragrance is amazing and it garners so many compliments. There's no way you're going to wear this fragrance and people aren't going to smell you or at least ask you what you're wearing because it just demands and commands attention like freaking crazy. I was considering wearing this one as an everyday type scent, but I think this one is actually more perfect for special events or something like that. You know, something that I would reach for if I'm going somewhere nice, if I'm dressed up nice and I just want to smell extra. Like that's kind of like the vibe that I get from this fragrance when i tell you that it's long lasting it's long lasting like longevity sillage is not an issue <laughs> with this fragrance at all it's also very um affordable i think you could find this one for like 40 something dollars which is crazy so yeah that's basically all i have on this scent this is l'entity or the toilette and it is from the house of Givenchy. another fragrance that i have here is one that i almost did not add to this list okay because i'm kind of realizing that it's a very taste specific fragrance and sometimes i am afraid to recommend fragrances like that because i know you guys do blind buy fragrances that i recommend and i always want to make sure that fragrances that i recommend are like the bomb you know what i'm saying which is why i'll always take my time to be very descriptive when i'm talking about these perfumes i want to give you guys you know that confidence that you're gonna like the fragrance that you're gonna purchase all right but enough said about that now, the fragrance that I'm talking about here is from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier, and this one is called Classique, and this is the Eau de Toilette version. They do have an EDP version, which I've never tried, and I'm not really sure how they compare it to each other. I could only tell you about the Eau de Toilette version. Now, this fragrance for me is a love. This one is very soapy, and that's what I love about this scent. It gives soap. It gives big fresh soap and i absolutely love that thanks to the orange blossom we do have a nice oriental vanilla note in here we have ginger we have some spicy notes it's musky it's a bit powdery this one did come out in the early to mid 1990s i think and if i'm being completely honest sometimes i do pick up that vibe so uh, if you don't like that, then you may need to pass up on this one. It's kind of funny because the other day I went to an event and there was this guy, he was a younger guy and he was helping me around, you know, trying to help me buy fragrance and he was like, I have one for you, but I'm not really sure if you're going to like it. So I'm like, try me. And he picked up this one and I was like, boy, if you don't stop. I said, I love that fragrance. He's that girl. And I'm like, boy because i'm like we're here you know what i'm saying me and him we vibe so i was like no i'm good i have that one so show me something else but that was a special moment between me and the guy I'm not even sure what his name is but i definitely got to go back to that store because i want him to show me around because if he liked this fragrance he got taste okay anyway guys that's all i have for this fragrance beautiful fragrance super long lasting perfect for the fall season if you like soapy fragrances with some sweetness and some warmth under that but more soapy than anything else definitely look into this fragrance this is classique or the toilette and it is from the house of jean paul gaultier
Okay guys, so another fragrance that I have here, also on the affordable side, it is from the house of Juicy Couture, and this one is called Juicy Couture. Now this fragrance is also very unique, okay? Guys, let me tell you right now. I tend to like fragrances that are a bit unique. I like them to be likable, um, I do like them to be people pleasing, but I do like them to have a little bit of something that keeps me interested because your girl gets bored. Now, this is one of those fragrances. Not everybody's going to like it. Um, I do think that it has some people pleasing aspects, but there are some things about this fragrance that may be a little bit weird to people, but it's definitely worth looking into. The dominant note that I get from this one is tuberose. This is not that sugary, sweet, bubblegummy type of tuberose that a lot of perfumers like to put in perfumes nowadays. That is not it. This one is like the real deal. This is white tuberose, which gives off that green bush-like type of scent. So it smells very realistic, even though I've never smelled tuberose, but I imagine that that's what it smells like. What I love about this fragrance is that it does have a splash of watermelon. So there is a slight fruity vibe going on here. Now the watermelon, is not dominant here like i said it is a little splash but i'm able to pick it up here and of course in the base we have some gourmand touches we do have caramel creme brulee if you don't like gourmand scents don't even worry about it because there's really not a lot of focus on the gourmands i actually wish the gourmands would have been a little bit more popping the main focus of this scent is the tuberose all right it's clean but yeah there is some sweet warmer tones to this fragrance and I think it smells very interesting. There are some fragrances that smells very similar to this fragrance, so it's not that unique if I'm being completely honest, but I know that fragrances with this sort of scent profile is a little bit challenging for a lot of people, so I'm gonna pop up some fragrances that's similar to this scent, so you guys may get an idea of what this one smells like, all right? This is a Juicy Couture EDP. That's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Go ahead, like it, comment, do all that good stuff for your girl. Okay, guys, I'll see y'all in the next upload. Bye.